What's up? I'm good. Now you're good. This is so awkward. <laughs> Hello class of 2026. Hello, hello. hello. My name is Nanigo and these are my friends and we are from the American MD program, the year of 2025. I congratulate you and welcome you to the university. Uh, we are at the Lissy Lake right now. Uh, it, it is very close to the university. You can study here, you can do some activities. It's really not nice out here. So uh, we welcome you to the, our campus and I hope you will love it as much as we do. Class of 2026, today we're going to show you our favorite places to um, go in Tbilisi. Um, you're lucky to be in the USMD program and there are beautiful places here where you can spend time, have fun like we do and this is to show you because you can't come here at the moment and we are now starting at Lissy Lake and we will go and show you the entire city. So yeah, let's go! Hey guys, Hi. what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? So guys, we're gonna have a little tour around. We're gonna look at our beautiful city and we're gonna learn a little bit more. So we're gonna have a, like a lecture outside. Are you in? Yeah. Perfect, so we're gonna start. Let's go. What building is it? Oh, that one. This is the former residence of our president of Georgia. Yeah, and right over here we have a bridge. You can see this is called the Liberty Bridge. And both well, among the folks we call it the pad because of the form. And actually it represents the whole idea of humanity. So you know at night it has it shines and it actually sends a certain code. The shining is actually a Morse code, which represents the chemical elements of the human body. So that's how we send the message to the universe and if the aliens are gonna see it, they might come here. <laughs> so as you know, we are very home-loving and homecoming people, so we will represent them and we would like to see them here to come. Okay, let's go and see the foundationer. <laughs> You remember we had the class about the Cold War and we talked about the Berlin, how Berlin was divided in two parts. So it was divided by, by two walls actually, but actually it was divided by a wall and this is a part of that wall, this is the Berlin Wall. And it's a part of the Berlin Wall which was after deconstruction, it was presented to Georgia. Now why it was presented to Georgia? Because the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Georgia, of Soviet Union to be more precise, back then was the second president of Georgia, Eduard Shevardnadze. And he participated in the negotiation about the deconstruction of the Berlin Wall. So as a kind of a thank you, the Germans gifted us the part of the wall, which we have right here. Not maybe the most beautiful part, but still it's a nice gift. This is our great king, King Vachtang Gorgasal. The coolest, name, the coolest thing about him is his name. So Vachtang is his real name. Gorgasal is his nickname. It actually means Gorgasar or the head of the wolf. Because during the battles he came out with a helmet that had a picture of the wolf's head uh, in front. And every time the enemies would cry, be aware the wolf's head is coming. And he was actually a great warrior and he is also the founder of Belisi. 
of our great city here. Now you can look over there and see how beautiful it is. Yeah. Oh, this is the real picture of Tbilisi with the balconies, yeah, the different colors. It's a multicultural city. All kinds of people used to live here. You can see the diversity. There is a mosque. Yeah, here we have the church and over there there is a synagogue. Different cultures are mixed here in a kind of a melting pot, which created the spirit of Belize itself. So guys, check out the river. This is called the river Mtkwari. Yeah, and according to some ancient Greeks, this was the borderline between the Asia and Europe. So right now we are standing right on the border between the two continents, so you can make a certain wish. Yeah. And there was a leader of the Khorezm who was Jalal al -Din. And when he came to Georgia, uh, he wanted to convert everybody into, into Muslim religion. And there was a hanging bridge over here. So what he did, he put an icon of Mother Mary and Jesus and made everybody like cross the bridge and step on the icon. And we call that day the day of 50,000 marchers. Because 50,000 people they didn't cross, they were shot dead, and they say that the river Mtkwari was red all the way to the Caspian Sea with blood. We are standing on right now is the roof of a sulfur bath. Yeah, it's a thermal water that come right underneath the earth, the hot spring water. And you can actually take a bath here. It's like a visit card of Tbilisi. That's why it is called Tbilisi. Tbili in Georgian means actually warm because of the warm water that comes out. And a lot of people, some famous people actually entered the bath, the guests uh, who came to Georgia. Like for example, Alexander Dumas. You remember the Three Musketeers? Yeah. So the author of the Three Musketeers came to Tbilisi and his words are, even in France, I have never witnessed anything as posh as the Tbilisi sulfur basses. So my advice to you is to visit these basses and relax. It's a perfect relaxation. This is like the coolest place in Belize. I mean actually cool because in the heat of the summer you can come here and this coldness from the waterfall actually cools you down a little bit. We call this whole canyon the Love Canyon, yeah? Because first of all a lot of marriages, after people marriage they come here and they take pictures. Second of all, well pretty before this whole canyon was covered with trees and it was one of the most romantic places for the date, yeah? So you can see we have like a very beautiful waterfall here and behind the waterfall is the botanical garden, the former king's garden or the imperial garden. Huge territory covered with different trees where you can look around and you can just relax. So this is like the natural place in the center of the city. What do I say at the end of my class? Get out! Get out. One, two, three! Get out! the Narikala fortress yeah this is the main fortress of our city of Tbilisi uh, it was founded in the third century AD by the Persians and later it became like when the town be was growing it became like the main fortress and every time we defended the city from here yeah it's like the main citadel from here came also the main wall that covered the whole city area later it became the residence of the Tbilisi not like a mayor, but the Belizean lords, we can say, yeah, Belize emir and later the Belize hats. So this is one of the major location of the city. One of 
of the highest or Christian Orthodox Church in the yeah third place in the world. This is this is the biggest church in Belize. Actually, this is the biggest church in Georgia. Actually, at the same time, 101 meters in height. So how do you like it here? Yeah, this place is nice. We come here after lectures to relax and just to have fun. Hmm. So okay, that's nice. That's nice. Wait, Waiting for you guys. Woo! <laughs>